Today I'm going to talk about peacock pose and focus on shoulder rotation and scapula by demonstrating the peacock pose. This posture focuses on stabilizing the scapula. And also the shoulder and scapula control for the peacock pose is so similar to what we need to master for the press handstand. It's a good idea to have a closer look at this pose. I will explain how you practice peacock pose and what is main focus step by step while demonstrating this posture. I hope you can pick up some information to understand scapula and shoulder control for pressing to a handstand and holding handstand as well as possible. So before we get started, just a short promotion about my press handstand online program. If you think you will never be able to do a handstand or you are just starting out your practice and want to a step-by-step -step plan to nail the press handstand or maybe you have practiced handstand on the wall and never really got the feeling for the right balance i can help you a lot to achieve your goal check my website down below in the description and join my program today it's worth a try let me help you to master press handstand in shortest time you might never imagine my beginner's program covers building up your strengths, flexibility, and mobility to achieve your goal to do press handstands with minimum effort. Okay, now let's go back to our topic for today and without further ado, let's jump into it. So the starting position is on your knees next to your elbows. Place your forearms on the floor. Make sure that your elbows are shoulder width apart and keep your forearms parallel throughout the performance of this posture. If you place the elbows too far apart, it is not stable to hold the balance and keep that position. Place your hands around the opposite elbows and ensure that your knuckles and fingers are outside your elbows. Maintain this precise distance between your elbows. Straighten your legs now and shift your weight forward. Lift your hips high over your wrists or back of your head. The further you can walk in, the less strength you will need to get up into the posture. Inhaling, drop your gaze between your wrists or further down and lower your head. Once you are up in peacock pose and have found your balance, engage your abdominal muscles. Straighten up, grow as tall as you can and fully open your chest and shoulders. Now we are moving into tuck position by dropping the knees down. First, you start to flex your trunk. Then go as far as touching the thighs to your ribcage in a vertical position. Focus on stabilizing the shoulder blades using the latissim dorsi, lower trapezius, and rhomboid muscles. Suck your knees up into your armpit rather than letting them drop down to your elbows. You will need very strong abdominal muscles to isometrically maintain the curve of your trunk. You will be able to draw your knees up into your armpits only when you have completed contraction, meaning flexion of the hip joint and flexion of the trunk. Make sure that you lower down in slow motion. I show you from a different angle this movement. That's it for today. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave your comments what you think about this video and let me know if you have any questions or what kind of content you would like to watch in my future updates. Thanks for watching and see you all in my next episode. Enjoy your practice!